man, there's no comparison between what happened with the Jaguars and the Dolphins in 2023. Unfortunately, that's not a good thing for us, Miami fans. A year ago, Doug Peterson and the Jaguars were on a roll to repeat as division champions. They started 8-3, then lost five of their last six games and missed the playoffs. Meanwhile, what about us? The Dolphins were flying. They won nine of their first 12 games and had a comfortable lead over the Bills in the AFC East. Then, out of nowhere, the nightmare. McDaniel's team lost three of their last five games, Buffalo ran away with them, and that home game against the Bills, which ended 21-14, threw us straight into the wild card. The pain hadn't even subsided when, the following week, we were eliminated by the future Super Bowl champions, the Chiefs. It wasn't supposed to end like that, right? But that's it, what's done is done, and now we have to try to look forward. Speaking of history, it's been a while since the Jaguars came to Hard Rock Stadium. The last time was in 2018. And, look, in 10 regular season meetings, everything is tied. But, if you remember that massacre in 1999, when they humiliated us in the playoffs with a score of 62-7. to It's hard to swallow, right? But, hey, no one here is reliving traumas, right? And the last time we played against them, in 2021, was in London, and they won 23-20 with a last-second field goal. It's impossible to forget. Tua passed for 300 yards, Lawrence too, but who came out on top? Yeah. And they also ended a horrible streak of 20 consecutive losses. It was a punch in the gut. Now, about the quarterbacks. Both Lawrence and Artua signed huge contracts. Lawrence is on a five-year deal for $275 million, while Tua signed for four years and $212 million. It's clear that the future of these franchises is in the hands of these guys. And with all that money comes pressure, right? Lawrence, at the end of the season, was a bit shot, but he still threw for more than 4,000 yards and 21 touchdowns. The problem was that he also gave the ball away too much, with 14 interceptions and 7 lost fumbles. As for Tua, he led the NFL with more than 4,600 yards and 29 touchdowns, the best of his career. But on the negative side, he was responsible for 19 turnovers. That's tough. Now, what can we expect from the defense? This is where things get interesting. Both the Jaguars and Dolphins have new coaches in charge of the defense. We brought in Anthony Weaver, a guy who spent the last few years with the Ravens. The Jaguars, in turn, called in Ryan Nielsen. And last year, our defense against the run game was strong, 7th in the league. And the pass rush wasn't bad either, with 56 sacks, second only to the Ravens and Chiefs. But when injuries started to appear, especially to the edge rushers, things went downhill. And then you'll see. One thing that no one can ignore, protecting the ball. The Jaguars' defense forced 27 turnovers last season, but the problem is that they turned the ball over 30 times. It seems basic, but it makes all the difference. Interestingly, we also forced 27 turnovers, but we urgently need to improve on not handing the ball over to our opponents.